Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create an AEM project using the latest AEM Maven archetype. We will use Maven archetype 51. If you are new to AEM, don't worry. I shall start uh, with a quick introduction to AEM and Maven archetypes before diving into the step-by-step -step tutorial. By the end of this tutorial, you will have a working AEM project with a default Hello World component. So let's get started. First, we see what is AEM. Adobe Experience Manager AEM is a comprehensive content management system developed by Adobe. It is designed to help businesses create, manage, and optimize digital experiences across multiple channels like website, mobile apps, different forms, etc. It combines a robust content management system with tools for digital asset management. Digital asset means are different resources like documents, PDFs, images, or videos, all the resources which will be used on the website. Personalization, marketing automation, and analytics, making it a key platform for enterprise level digital experiences. I mean, we can customize uh, our website using this platform for our digital marketing. Now we see what is Maven archetype. As I said earlier, we will use latest Maven archetype to create our project structure. Maven archetypes are project templates that help developers quickly set up new projects with a predefined structure. Adobe provides an AEM project archetype that generates a fully functional AEM project with best practices, configuration and a basic component structure. Right? Guys, I guys to be honestly with you, I hate theory. But these are very basic AEM concepts you must be aware of before jumping into AEM tutorials. Now we see technical architecture of AEM. Um, we see what are backend technologies like Java and OSGI. The core backend framework of AEM is built on Java and OSGI, Open Services Gateway Initiative. Then we have Apache Sling, a request-based web framework that maps URL to JCR nodes, making AEM content easily accessible. Then we have JCR at the backend, Java content repository, stores content and metadata in a hierarchical structure. Apache Jack Rabbit Oak, the underlying implementation of JCR for data storage. Then we have AEM Dispatcher, a caching and security layer that improves performance and protects AEM instances. For the front end technologies, we use HTML, CSS, JavaScript, which is used for templating and styling AEM components. We can use React or Angular. AEM supports modern front end frameworks for headless and single page application development. HTL, HTML template language, a secure templating language for AEM components. AEM provides an authoring interface for content editors. This interface can be text UI or classic UI. Before creating an AEM project, make sure you have Java 11 installed, Maven 3.3.9 plus installed, AEM SDK or an existing AEM instance on your local machine. Now let's see the Adobe's official AEM project archetype GitHub repository. I open this URL. Here Adobe provides detail on how to generate an AEM project using different configurations. Right? For example, here it says to generate a project adjust following command line to your needs. As we discussed earlier, Adobe comes in two flavors like Adobe Cloud and On-Premises or your local machine. So for Adobe Cloud, we set AEM version uh, in our type Cloud and for and for On-Premises, we set AEM version. Now let's generate our AEM project. Open your terminal for command prompt. I have copied this command in my notepad and make necessary configuration changes as per my need. For example, I am provided AEM version here 6.5.20, right? So I copy this command. I open command prompt, open as administrator. Okay, I paste my Maven archetype command here. And command has been executed. As the command is executing, let's review few configurations. What are these basic configurations here? 
here B means Guns Maven in batch mode, right? Archetype group ID specifies this is a AEM archetype. Archetype artifact ID, AEM project archetype, this type of project we want to create. Then archetype version, use version 51, which is the latest Maven archetype to create the project. We want to provide AEM version 6.5.20. It specifies that the project is a for AEM 6.5.20 environment. App title, it is sets the site title. Then we have app ID, it sets the project's technical identifier. Then we have group ID, it defines the base Java package structure. Okay, so in the meanwhile, uh, our project has been created and it has built it as well. So it builds successfully. So let's open the project. This is our project. Open. Let's open it into IntelliJ IDEA. This is our project. Click on OK. OK. So it has opened the project. We don't need this patcher module for now. Let's delete it. Also remove its reference from parent form. Let me format this form directly. Click on Control Alt L. Okay, it has formatted my form, so let's delete it. Okay, let's first understand the structure of the project. First, we have here core, which contains Java code for business logic. Then we have it.s, it's a kind of test project, let's ignore it. We have ui.apps, stores AEM components, templates and policies. Then we have uh, ui.content. It holds sample content like pages, right? Then we have ui.config, which has some configuration settings related to application and uh, it may be related to OSGI configuration as well. Then we have ui.frontend, which contains our frontend logic, maybe React, JavaScript, or HTML for our components. Even you can see uh, basic details about these modules here in readme file, right? Let's first build the project. Then we deploy a project to our local AEM instance. So let's first execute mvn clean install. I open the terminal and type the maven command mvn clean install. This will build the project only. Okay, it has built the project successfully. So R looks good. So let's deploy this project on our local instance. I give command mvn clean install auto install package okay it will successfully let's go to our aem instance to see if it is deployed just to explain you it has a basic hello world component right so it should be available in our aem instance i open my local host 4502 other instance okay go to sites okay so it has created my site okay so it has created this a page so let's open this en page Okay, so our hello world component is available. If we go to ui.apps, in components package, you will find this hello world component. And it is using hello world sling model. I go into this hello world sling model. It is in core project. Sling models in AEM are Java classes that map JCR node properties to POJOs using annotations like add model, right? This simplify backend logic by injecting resources, request objects, and adaptable fields for use in HTL components. If you don't know about POJOs, it is plain old Java object. It's a simple Java class that does not depend on any specific framework. It typically has private fields, public getters, setter methods, and no special constraints, making it easy to use and maintain right let's understand how we are using sling model inside this htl we are using data sly use dot model this initializes an instance of sling model and assign it to this model variable when it initializes this sling model so it calls its init method right inside this init method we are setting a string message here and it will set some string value to this message variable which is being returned by get message and if we go back to hello world.html we see we are using this variable model here as model.message this ensures 
that a div is only rendered we see data slide test which ensures that the div is only rendered if the message property from hello world model is not empty right and the pre tag output the message retrieved from sling model here basically it is calling get message method inside this hello world sling model right so whenever you call get message it is actually a, a message property you are calling and get is exempted here and this is how that hello world string is displayed on the ui let's suppose i change this string i go to sling model it says hello world i say hello my word and i deploy this again i run this command and let it deploy it okay the change is deployed so let's refresh the page okay so we are getting the string like hello my word and here the source type is my site and component hello world so it is showing it from this resource type variable which we have declared here keep in mind everything in am can be resource a resource can be a page a resource can be a component a resource can be a template a resource can be anything right so here the resource or resources are component that's why it's showing our hello world component as a resource type and for current page path so we are getting current page path from here using current resource okay we have talked about the front end and the back end and see the ui of our am component let's see how this am component reside in jcr in crx i open author instance go to tools and open this crx delight i go to in apps my site components and in this component folder we have hello world component here right this is its html file okay that's it for today in the next tutorial we will explore some more am features if you like this video hit the like button subscribe my channel and share with your friends thanks for watching